Claiming that you up next, but oh, that's true. Only sad part, we don't know what next is do. You claiming that you up next, but oh, that's true. Only sad part. What I do, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy over at Kaluva. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I was like greeting you guys like I'm on YouTube or some stuff like that, but yeah. Um so if you're hearing this right now, the time is seventeen minutes past three AM on a Tuesday morning on the fifth of January. 2021 jeez that sounds so weird um speaking of time that's something i've been battling with a lot lately and um yeah man it's just it seems to be moving damn fast and I don't know if I'm the only one feeling like this or, I mean, when I posted about it, I feel like two people could relate with me. Um, one of them, I think, is turning 26 this year and they have honestly no idea how the fuck they got there. I don't know if I'm allowed to swear in this podcast, but I'm going to swear anyways because that's how I speak and I'm not doing this for clout or any brand deals or anything like that. So if you hear me cussing, then it is what it is. But yeah, this gentleman was just speaking to me about how he also doesn't act. He could relate because like he's turning 26 this year and he doesn't feel like he has everything figured out. Other people seem like they'd be living their best lives at that age. But like, I think that comes from the pressure of, and I don't want to sound like an old person, but the reason we feel like our lives are moving too fast or the reason we feel like we're not where we exactly want to be at certain ages is because of the influence that is so, that is surrounding us. Like you have people at the age of 18 who have secured enough revenue or enough money to live comfortable lives for the rest of their lives or they project that certain perception that yo know, they have enough money to like secure the rest of their lives and i feel like this puts a lot of pressure on a lot of us to think that our lives to think that we are late in our lives and I was also speaking to another friend about that topic. She kind of feels like she's late or she's behind in where her life is supposed to be because some of her friends are getting cars. Some of her friends are getting their driver's license. And she feels like she has nothing concrete that she actually needs for her life. You know, and and every like when I was hearing her say that, I couldn't help but think to what um, my girlfriend said to me in the poem that she wrote me for my birthday, and if I remember correctly, I think it goes along the lines of, "You are not ahead nor behind anyone." You're exactly where you're supposed to be. Like, if you really think of that, because of how fast everything moves right now, how, ac how easily accessible everything is right now, like, you take a great post, a photo, you post it, and you do something really cool you posted and it's like we have all this access to information so fast and we feel like other people's lives are moving at greater paces than ours are when really this life thing is not a race it's not a competition at the end of the day 
one fact remains. We are all on this big ass rock that is floating in the middle of nowhere. And we really, really, really do forget that. Like Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all these things, they actually really distract us from actually realizing that we are on some random ass rock in the middle of nowhere. Like, when you really think of stuff like that, I don't know, for me personally, I just feel like it just, it makes any problem that I have so insignificant. Like, really. Like, failing a test becomes so insignificant because, yeah, in the perspective that you have right there and then, it's like, damn, I failed this test. My parents are going to issue on me. My mates are probably going to laugh at me. Well, that was like the mentality before you get to varsity. Because when you get to varsity, you know, you, you failing is so normal in varsity. Like, that is one place where failing is accepted. Like, it's accepted. But yeah. Realizing that we are in this one floating ass rock in the middle of nowhere just makes everything that we think is so powerful and holding us down so meaningless to me. Because, dude, you're obsessing over things that in the long run, like in five years' times, those things are probably not going to be as impactful to you as you think they are in that current situation that you're going through. And... I feel like that's something we should all take with us is that when you really like feel like you're in a tight spot, in a scary, stressed out spot where you're like, damn, how the hell am I going to get through this? Or you're just really panicking. Take a deep breath and realize you are just one human being amongst 7 billion other human beings on a giant ass big ass rock that's what we are that's what we are But coming back to my thing that I was saying about time and how it seems to be moving fast. See, if you know me or if you're close to me, I'm sure somewhere in my life I probably would have expressed how much I fear death and I fear growing up. And lately I've been thinking over and over about that. Um... It's like, I don't even really understand if I really fear death itself, like the action, the event of me dying, or I fear not being alive anymore, or I fear being forgotten. Like in the lonely hours of the night, I always think about people that were alive in 1783. Like, there were a lot of people alive in that year. All of which are no longer. Only a select few are remembered. And most of them are probably white dudes. Because white dudes mostly colonized them the bigger part of the world 
and they pushed whatever propaganda they had onto all the colonies they colonized. So colonies they colonized, is that a thing? I don't know. Anyways. But yeah, man. Like I said, um, so my name is Afua Kaluva, and you're listening to Broken Compass, the podcast with no direction, because it's a broken compass, and you can't really find direction from a broken compass. Yeah. I don't know if I had to explain that, but like, I think I felt like I had to because, yeah, 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 man. Um, my plan with this podcast is just to speak my mind on topics that I, that come to mind that I feel like I want to speak on. Honestly, I feel like it would be way better if I had, um, a co-host of some sort because I feel like if you've ever in engaged in a conversation with me. Um, I feel like I'm really good at bouncing off someone when we're talking about really serious topics. I really enjoy talking about serious topics for some reason. I like stimulating my mind sometimes. Um, as goofy, as weird, as crazy as I am. But sometimes I really, really like feeding my mind. Not with books. I don't know why, because I can't read. I can read. But I have this deep insecurity about reading. Like, one factor is me failing grade one because I couldn't speak English. And what that kind of did to me was I never truly felt like I knew English because of that event in my life of me repeating that grade. Um, so much so I, I, I hated reading in class. I dreaded it. And my way of combating that is that I would kind of guess what the words would say instead of actually reading. And I see that till this day that when I'm reading something, I low key, my mind just guesses what it's, if it sees like some sort of shapes. It gives it whatever name. I don't know if that's an illness or dys- dyslexia or some shit like that. I don't know. But like, uh, it just guesses. And right now it's like beyond my control. It's like, it just happens. It's not like I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to get it. Like, I think I'm reading ish for real, but like, I'm just guessing. Anyways, I got di- distracted as hell and I don't know where the hell I was going with that, but. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea where I was going with that. That's gone now. I also have like a really short memory. Like I don't know what's happening, but it's not as you know what? I was testing this out, so if you actually ever get to hearing this, then that's super cool. If you don't, then this is probably gonna be deleted and It'll cease to exist and sort of like how we're all going to be. Eventually, one day we're going to be deleted and nobody's ever going to remember that we ever existed. Just like, that's what, that's the potential that this recording has too. That's low-key kind of beautiful and scary, but I think it's low-key kind of beautiful. But yeah, man. I hope you enjoy this. If you don't, that's okay. I think it was kind of cool speaking out loud to myself. But actually having a recording of it to like listen. Yeah. Shout out. If you made it this far, you an OG. Actually, if you made it this far, I have an incentive for you.
If you guess what hospital I was born in, in PE, I'll give you a hundred bucks. If you guess it right. Just to see how many people actually made it this far. If there's a lot of you that made it this far, then I'm hella screwed. But I'm sure they wouldn't be. So, yeah. Thank you for listening if you did. Um, it's your boy Everett Kaluva, and you're listening to the Broken Compass Podcast.